Today we're going to talk about forcing an outward swinging door. The second video we'll do is going to be forcing an inward swinging door. Always remember when using this door that you want to have on your proper PPE. For discussion and training purposes today, we're going to demonstrate with helmets, gloves, and coats. So one of the first things you want to do when approaching your door is make sure that it's unlocked. The last thing you want to do is force or break someone's door and then find out afterwards that it was unlocked. So we don't want to do that. We want to check it. Our door is locked. So the next thing we want to do is we want to shock our door. Herman, if you go ahead and shock the door for me, we've already seen that it's locked. By shocking the door, a lot of times this will weaken a lot of the interior locks that are in there. Um, also, by shocking the door, you can see when you hit, if you meet a lot of resistance up top or maybe lower, they may have multiple locks on this door, and that may be something that we'll have to overcome later. The next thing we want to do is we want to gap our door. We've shocked it. Now we want to gap this door. The gap, when you, when you create this gap, it's going to give you a access to your lock um, and you don't you don't want to lose this gap as you are forcing the door and you want to maintain that gap so you may have to force a little bit gap it a little bit more so we don't lose our progress so Herman if you would go ahead and gap it for me a little bit all right so Herman has gapped the door now he's going to work on forcing it. So now that he has the ads in of the Halligan in our in our door, he's going to want to do what's called the crush down. So he's going to he's going to take this, he's going to crush it, making that gap even better. And he's going to want to try to work as he's doing this. He's going to want to try to work his way in and around that door and past that door jam to defeat that lock. I know you can't see on camera, but he has, he has crushed it and is now around that door. He has passed that, that door jam and he is able to, to force the door open at this point. So he is going to Come back with it. So this is if this is if he was in a hallway. He can also move to the inside, positioning himself to force it. going. Keep going. It's got to be good. At this point, Herman is going to need me to drive the Halligan in for him. So I'm going to position myself to where I am striking the Halligan at a 90 degree. That way I'm not shearing the, the axe off either into the wall or worse, actually hitting the firefighter hole in the Halligan. So I'm going to square up to the tool and I'm going to have him tell me either to hit or to drive as Herman is looking to see where the Halligan is going and he will tell me when to stop. Ready? Yes. Hit. Hit. All right, so as the door opens, he's gonna maintain control of that door as to not let any of the combustion or the, the hazardous conditions inside out. He's gonna maintain control of that door.